research work is an interesting and a fascinating journey for myself. The scientific world is hearing a lot about graphene, graphene and its enormous applications in different fields of science and technology. So what is graphene? Have you ever heard about this new material? So graphene is just a carbon material discovered by the School of Physics in the University of Manchester. This material, graphene, has extraordinary physical and chemical properties. As a result, this has got the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2010. So my project is based on using this graphene for sustainable energy applications. So electrical energy. So we use electrical energy to power our laptops, smartphones, to run our household and even industrial appliances. So this electrical energy is playing a dominant role in our day-to-day -day activities. So did we notice that? So we have been using wide variety of materials on the devices so far. So we have been using devices like the batteries, internal combustion engines, and supercapacitors for our energy demands. Did we notice that this demand for the energy keeps increasing day by day? At the same time, the materials which has been used as the sources of energy are fast depleting as a result of social and economic developments in our society. So what is the result of using these devices so far? And what is the benefit or the essential to the society apart from this energy? Is that we have the pollution problem. Even if you take the case of the batteries or the combustion engines or any other systems, we have the end problem which is the pollution or the material disposal problem which causing a severe and drastic effect to the society in which we are living. So what is the cause and how are we going to solve this? We have the need and the solution is a sustainable and clean and friendly environmental friendly energy device. So how are we going to achieve this? So we need to look for a new kind of energy device. So I am specialized in working on a new device, which is the fuel cell. The fuel cell is an energy device which provides electrical energy by using simple alcohols as fuels. So you just add a drop of liquid or alcohol solution and the end you get electrical energy and this is the concept of the fuel cell. So what is the advantage of fuel cell? how it stands significant from the batteries, the supercapacitors and the current conventional ones that we use these days, is that this operates in such a way that there is no release of harmful environmental pollutants. There is no release of the carbon related gases. In some devices, yes, they do, but the concentration is less than, let us say, 0.1% when you compare to these internal combustion engines or, ba or batteries or whatever so over. And it operates in such a way it, there is no uh, heavy noise produced during the process. There is silent process. There is zero noise produced during the electrochemical process. And when it comes to an actual application or any device, it should be much more easier to scale up from the lab to the commercial application. And this fuel cell choose the demand as well. Because when you take it to your lab, to a commercial application, the installation is much more simple. So overall, the point of using fuel cell is it's environmental friendly, it is zero noise and easy to install. So this has a significant edge towards other conversion devices. And this is the actual fuel cell test station used in our lab from the School of Chemical Engineering in the University of Manchester. Uh, I specialize in working the, on synthesizing and by using different materials for the engine room of the fuel cell which is the engine room assembly which is like a piece of paper and adding different substances and I test uh, the performance of this fuel cell and you can see this is supported by the methanol which is the alcohol solution and the air cylinder and other chemical and mechanical components to test the performance of the fuel cells. And if you have a closer look on this operation, I mean the engine room of the fuel cell is much more simpler. So you just feed the methanol and the air on two sides. So you have like the, the components is much more simple, which is like you have the electronic pathway component on the two sides with the protonic pathway component on the center. 
So the researchers like us, we test different materials based on carbon or any kind of materials in this engine room of assembly of the fuel cells. So we have been testing different fuel cells with different sources of materials and we have like a project based on graphene. This graphene. So what is graphene? So graphene is a single sheet of carbon invented from the physics school professor Andrew Kine and Kostya Navaslov, which has got remarkable attention due to its extensive properties like higher electrical conductivity than any other material and higher stability and excellent packing structure suitable to demands of any sorts of most sorts of applications and we are figuring out how could we could use this for actual fuel cell operation but there are almost also different materials available in the market today so what makes the graphene or stands a phenomenon or extensive material when we compare to other materials as you could see the structure of graphene this is the molecular model of graphene as it can be seen from a scanning electron microscope or some other sophisticated techniques as you could see this is a the flat sheet of carbon arranged in a honeycomb lattice so this structure makes the flow of different substrates across the surface much more faster with less resistance than other materials as you could see there are other materials like in the market the nanotubes catch in black or fullerene so what makes this more important is that the structure if you can see nanotubes these structures are like foiled or wrapped or in different forms which makes the traveling of the substance across the surface with with uh, adding some more resistance and this graphene has an edge over other materials and this has contributed to remarkable properties apart from these having like excellent physical and chemical properties we also found that this graphene can be tuned to shoot the demands of our sustainable energy device the fuel cell so we found that based on the discussions from Andrew Gang and Kostya Novoslov, this can be shooted like this graphene could be functionalized to act as excellent electronic conductor and also be functionalized with some other agents to act as an excellent protonic conductor, which is in the like two different components of the fuel cell. So what we did was we took a single piece of uh, sheet of graphene, functionalized with one substance and it acted as an excellent electronic conductor. We took another sheet of singular graphene, functionalized with some agents which acted as a protonic conductor. So we have like the two different components which can be used for our friendly device, the fuel cell. So we tested the two different forms of uh, graphene, which is electronic conducting graphene and the proton conducting graphene for the fuel cell applications. So what we did was we just assembled them together as a graphene fuel cell in the engine room of the, the fuel cell. And what we found was some interesting uh, improvement in performance, uh, which is good for the part of the PhD project. <laughs> so this is the actual, the power performance curve of the fuel cell. The fuel cell produces electrical energy and we measured the power from the system. So and this blue stands for the materials that we supply from the companies, I mean the standard materials. So when we used the graphene materials, so we found enhanced improvement in performance up to, up to 50%. This improvement in performance is quite significant and striking future uh, in the fuel cell research because this produced like much higher, more increased improvement than when I compare to other materials and just reported across uh, different institutions across the globe. And we also should note that this graphene is the first tooling material ever discovered. So as you could see the, the flat sheet, this is thousand times thinner than the thickness of air. So this has a dramatic effect of making the changes to the fuel cell by undergoing or implementing a massive size reduction to all the systems in which the graphene is used. So overall, we get a clean and environmental friendly energy by using the graphene in the fuel cell with enhanced performance and we also produce water which is a part of our friendly device the fuel cell and we have 
there is a possibility to go for like the massive increase the reduction in size as a result of using graphene and based on the results obtained uh, we are now trying to scale up the process for different applications like laptop chargers the smartphone applications and we are trying to collaborate with companies to go for automotive applications so and also not only the advantages we also have working on quite uh, drawbacks which is like the cost of the graphene uh, right now the cost of the graphene is uh, it's adding uh, twice the amount of the preparation of engine room assembly when you compare to the conventional ones so now we are working on different methods on the processes to reduce the the cost by going for different methods or using the same method of by using like changing the techniques so as we can get the graphene at like much more cheaper cost so the future can be realized in such a way that we can get electrical energy just from a piece of paper and a few drops of alcohol that could power our household industrial applications and everything so this could make a yeah, dramatic changes to the energy technology industry so if more research is carried out and if this material is properly utilized so this could make a yeah, drastic and dramatic changes to the energy industry and make a good thing for or a goodness for our future environmental sustainable society thank you